Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more programming Python, that is how to find the palindrome, a numerical palindrome, right? So let me explain you about the logic and then we'll go with the program. So first, palindrome check. So first we need to find a reverse of a number and then we need to compare a reverse of a reverse of a number with given number right and if both are equal if both are equal we can say number is palindrome and if both are not equal both are not equal then we can say a number is not a palindrome right so first we need to find the reverse reverse of a given number so let us take some n is equal to 151 151 so we have to reverse that number in order to reverse that number a simple logic so we need to find the individual digits and we have to uh, multiply and add so that we'll get the number right so see r is equal to r mod 10 if you divide this one we'll get see we'll get the individual digits that means in the first iteration so 151 mod 10 which will give the result as a 1 right next find the reverse the reverse into 10 plus r so this is this is a second step so we need to multiply and we need to add with individual digit right so initially take the reverse as 0 reverse as 0 right so after executing this step we will get see we will get 0 plus sorry 0 into 10 plus 1 right so because r value is 1 right here the r value is 1 so we got a 1 as result and here we will get 1 because 0 into 10 it is nothing but 0 next we need to reduce the number of digits so after completion of first one we have to reduce the number of digits so now there is a three digit number and this three digit number should be reduced to two digit number so for that we have to use a mod 10 so if you use i mean floor division of 10 so 151 floor division of 10 which will give the result as see if you divide it with a 151 the result will be 15.1 and floor division only integer part should be considered so it will be 15 the result will be 15 and repeat these steps repeat the above three instructions until n greater than 0 so now n value is 15 which is nothing but greater than 0 so what we have to do we have to repeat the same steps now again r is equal to okay sorry here it is not r it's an n okay yeah so n mod 10 again the same steps we have to repeat the same steps see i'll just copy and paste it so now n means 15 15 mod 10 so we'll get the result as 5 now reverse is equal to reverse so initially the reverse now reverse value is 1 so 1 into 10 plus 5 which is nothing but 15 and 15 floor division of 10 which will give 1 1 right so hope you understood again 
greater than 0. So again, they repeat the above instructions. So once again, we need to execute the same instructions. Now n value is a uh, 1. 1. So we'll get the number 1. So 1 mod 10, which is nothing but a 1. And now reverse is equal to reverse into. So 15 into 10 plus r 1. Right. And here also 1 mod 10, 1 floor division of 10, which is nothing but 0. So it's not greater than 0. So we need to stop here. We need to stop here. Right. So here you can observe 15 into 10, 150 plus 1, 1. So after completion of these things, what is the reverse value? It's a 151. Right. So here. after completion of iterations reverse is equal to 151 compare reverse value with n so reverse is equal to 151 and n is equal to 151 so reverse is equal to is equal to n that implies n is palindrome palindrome so hope you understood this one so these are the three steps to be required while finding the reverse of a number so in the palindrome check first we need to find the reverse and then we have to compare with the given value if both are equal we can say it is a palindrome so here i am taking 151 as an example so number i am taking one reverse variable is equal to zero so r is equal to so this r is to finding the individual digits from one's uh, uh, one's position okay so one's position tens position hundreds position thousand positions like that we have to move on so in the first iteration one we got and reverse is equal to zero zero into ten plus reminder so that means a one so we got one and we need to after every iteration we need to reduce the n value we have to reduce the number of digits of n value so initially the number of digits of n value is 3 after first iteration we have to reduce it to two digit right and then we again repeat the same process okay because n has been modified so repeat the same process so that we'll get until uh, the n value is greater than 0 and finally we'll get the reverse value so compare this reverse value with the given number if both are equal simply we can say it is a palindrome Hope you understood this one. And now I'll, I will write down the logic. See, let us take a value. So n is equal to int of input, input, enter number. And I will take one temporary value, some temp or x will take x is equal to n. So the same value has been given to x because in every iteration we are updating the n value so finally we have to compare with the given value so for that purpose we are just giving one variable with sn assigning the same value so now while x greater than 0 so we have to repeat the statements until the x greater than 0 now i am considering it as x right so the original value is in n now find out the reminder reminder is equal to n mod 10 we'll get a reminder and then reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus r so we have to reduce the number of digits so n is equal to n floor division of 10 and initially take the reverse value as 0 right so we will get the reverse of a number so just print it print reverse of given number is we had a result in reverse so now compare if reverse is equal to is equal to n simply you can print n is a palindrome else print n is not a palindrome right now execute i'll go with one two three okay sorry it's moving into the division so x x 
so it went to the infinite loop because we are uh, just dividing the n value but we are comparing with the x value so always the x value will be greater than zero so that's why it will moving on the infinite numbers okay now you can see one two three so reverse of a given given number is a three 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 what is this here also it is x okay now let us check so 1 2 3 and it is 321 yes so 321 right so we are we are just taking the x value because uh, finally we have to compare with the given value so that's why i am assigning the value to the x so we have to iterate with the x or n so either you have to use a x or you have to use a n if you are using n then here we will compare with x Okay, if you are using x, here we'll be comparing with n. So previously, uh, by mistake, I have used the, I have used that uh, n value, right, instead of x. But here in the condition, I have used the x, and in the instructions, I have used the n value. So that's why we got an error. So now it's clear. So first, we are finding the reverse of a given number. So 123, the reverse of a given number is 321, which is not a palindrome. Let us take 121. So reverse of a given number is 121, and so 121 is a palindrome right so this is how we can simply find the palindrome simply we can find the palindrome check okay so hope you understood this one and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much